Hey guys, I'm here at the Great Lakes XL. I'm here with Mike Nelson. Howdy. Ready to rock and roll the CUGC XL in Chicago. We're going to have some fun today and talk about security things. And make everyone a little bit more paranoid. He's going to make everyone yes. a lot more paranoid. My stuff isn't as paranoia related as his. <laughs> we'll see you. Watch it. <laughs> When you put a VM into the infrastructure of the public cloud, in like an Azure, you're actually placing that VM on a minimum of three different physical locations. Three, okay? That's how your data is spread out. Now that three, those three locations, if you're using what they call uh, locally redundant services or LRS, that means it's actually three different locations within the same data center. But you can go geo and you would be three within the city, you know, multiple regions. This is the thing, uh, is anybody here like multi-international company that like, actually has offices in other places in the world? Cool. Everyone that didn't raise your hand, you can prevent two billion IP addresses from getting to all your VIPs with one click. Two billion IPs, there's only 4.5 billion in the world, right? So you can reduce your attack service by over 60% by one set, and you apply it to each bit. So, how can you document your software configuration? Well, there are three ways. The first way is by taking snippets of your configuration files. We saw those configuration files we had just a moment ago. I can make copies of those, put it somewhere safe, and then if I have to recreate my software configuration, if I do everything just right, if I put everything back exactly the way it was, I may be able to make an exact copy of it. All right, deuces are wild. So the other thing, you know, I would say you got to nail when you're doing like Zenapp scalability, you're figuring out how to carve up, you know, VMs on a box or a hypervisor. You got to nail the oversubscription ratio. So what I mean by that is, I think I have an example. Yeah, two by sixteen. So that's thirty-two physical cores with hyperthreading, double it, 64. So what do you do? Do you do 32? Do you leverage all 64? Do you go somewhere in between? What started happening with a big boom of money inside the cyber client is that we started seeing uh, specialized offerings. And when you see specialized offerings, specialized services and products, you also start seeing marketplaces. If you go on the dark web today, there are over 6,000 marketplaces where you can buy anything you want whether it's exploits, piece of codes, or it's the really easy to use, do it yourself, ransomware kit, where you just enter the text you want to do and it will automatically compile the ransomware for you. So I have a question that I think the guy in the middle might know the answer. And, and that is during uh, Big Night. Yeah, <laughs> during Night, there was an announcement about um, desktop as a service. So what does that mean? Is, Yes. Yes. This is all this is all yeah, no, no. I think he's Azure or something. He said Azure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's a wrap. This is uh, the team. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you next time.